Wow! Why the fuck you shoot him that many times? Why the fuck y'all shoot him? Bro, oh, why the fuck did y'all just shoot him? Why the fuck y'all shoot him? Bro, we so fucking racist. Y'all just shot him for no fucking reason. Fuck the police. Fuck the police. Fuck them. Crack ass crackers. Crack ass crackers. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I don't know. I don't know. Use our tasers for black people. Fuck you talk about. Fuck the police. Fuck them all. Crack ass tracker right there. Another crack ass tracker over there. Y'all ain't here to protect us. Y'all should have changed. Why the fuck y'all ain't changed? All right, so it happened again. Yo, look, I'm gonna try and put this the best way I know how. All right, because like. I, I, I just got into it with, well, I was having a discussion anyway. I didn't get into it. I, I was having a discussion with Antoine in the comment section on the Twitter joint, you know, on the Twitter feed. And legit, I'm going to put this like this, right? Yeah, this dude was a criminal. Yes, this dude had motherfucking multiple goddamn arrests for domestic violence. So, basically, he had a bad time with his fucking baby's moms, right? He had criminal trespass, motherfucking, you know what I mean, domestic violence, armed battery, sexual assault, right? All in the same case, so, you know what I mean, it's probably more than likely that, you know what I mean, this dude here, you know, ended up standing here, you know what I mean, fucking, like, getting charged with some nonsense because some bitch said some shit. Uh, he was charged with more fucking like uh, fighting with the fucking police, probably because him and his girl got into it and the police showed up, you know what I'm saying? And he was in front of his fucking kids. And, you know, it is what it is. I'll be honest with you. I'm going to tell you a story. When I was a kid, uh, me and my little sister was sick, right? And my father wanted to know how we were. And my mom told him basically to go fuck himself. And in doing so, my father ended up coming to the house to come check on us. And when he got there, fucking she wouldn't let him in the goddamn door. So he ended up going through the door. And he checked on my little sister and he checked on me. Made sure we were all right. He left the house and the police were there at that time. And he grabbed a hold of the fucking police and bounced them off a fucking telephone pole. And said, this is my fucking family and it's my business. This man was just shot seven times by the police in front of his three children in an SUV. Personal food. Right. He wasn't fighting the cops. He wasn't standing here being an asshole. He was breaking up a fight. Right, because it was an altercation between, you know I'm saying, his baby's moms and some other bro. And he ended up standing there fucking calming the situation down as the police showed up. Stood there and said, sir, you have a warrant out for your arrest. He said, I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, fucking, I don't, I don't care about that bullshit right now. I'll deal with that later. I'm with my kids. It's my time to be with them. So he goes to get back in his fucking cause. The police fucking draws his goddamn fucking firearm and all fucking proceeds. As the dude gets in the car to leave, the police shoots him in the fucking back.
Now, is this dude a good guy? I don't know. Is this dude a man? Yes. Is this guy a human being? Absolutely. Is he a father? Yes, he is. Did you just turn three fucking more black children, black males, into basic fucking American jihadis? Yes, you did. Back in the day, we used to have what was known as a blowback, right? We used to talk about this back in uh, the 2000s. When we say, if you bomb a man or kill a man in front of his fucking children, you're going to turn his children against you, right? That was something we all had a pretty good fucking understanding of. All of us. We had a, we had a very good understanding that, you know, this was... Our policy of going over there and just killing people who were civilians fighting what was basically an American occupancy of their country. You were literally creating the next generation of jihadis. And, you know, lo and behold, that's what happened. And that's what always happens. And that's what's going to happen with this. That's what's been happening for years because the police have been intervening in neighborhoods and communities where they're really not needed. And I'm going to tell you why. The vast majority of crime in these neighborhoods, for instance, this one here too, right? Which is, you know what I mean? Uh, this guy here, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, he's a father, you know what I mean? He, he's going through bullshit with his baby's moms. And his baby's moms, instead of standing here, you know what I'm saying, chilling the fuck out and working with them, calls the police when they get into it, right? This is something that most of us, most white folks really don't understand because it's an economic question as much as it's... Uh, a question of community ethics and cultures and things of this nature. If you're willing to give a woman $51,000 a year in welfare, then you're willing to stand here and let the dudes who would end up having this female struggle their whole lives to keep this broad under wraps. Because you're pricing them out of the market. And the bitch is, is if you get caught by one of these chicks. Or say like you fall for one of these broads. You know what I'm saying? Because men are weak. Men are what they are. You end up being on a level of where you're going to struggle your entire fucking life. Right? And this is the end result of these type of policies. You have priced men out of the market. And once you get down to the level of where you don't have the ability to financially go, well, bitch, you can be on the street. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, if you don't like the fact that I say you're not going to do this, you know what I'm saying? Or we're going to raise our children in this manner. Or you're going to be out in the street. You decide that you're going to stand here and, you know what I'm going to go, well, I'm, no, you're going to be out in the street, dude, because, like, I'm good. The fucking government got me. And then you fucking give preferred jobs to females at the state and, you know what I mean, fucking office work and things of this nature. And all that the dude's left with is physicality. Right? That's all that he's left with. Because this fight isn't just about money. It isn't about a relationship. It's, it's also about the children. And the children are ultimately what's the most important thing in that dude's life. You will die for your fucking kids. And fighting a bitch is well below dying. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, you're on that fucking level. So you get down to this level with these fucking bros and this fucking shit and this whole government and this whole culture. Making everybody live under these rules is wrong. Feminism and the idea of egalitarianism is fine for rich white people, right? Because rich white people, you know, they have the financial ability to deal with this. 
But when you're poor, this is the absolute worst thing you can do to a human being. Is make the laws around egalitarian. Because you are destroying families and cultures and creating more of this. And this will continue as long as we continue to think that egalitarianism is a good idea. Like real shit. And, and on top of that, you're talking about Kenosha, Wisconsin, which again, you know what I'm saying? This is part of the Rust Belt. This is part of the industrial area that has been decimated by sending jobs overseas and automating. The word Luddite has such a terrible connotation these days. But the truth is, is that you have to have that discussion at some point and go, yo, look, if the people aren't part of the process, what the fuck is the point of all this? Real shit. Because half of the population is, has an IQ below 100. Not everyone's going to be able to be successful in this system. We have to have shit for the dummies. We can't all live under the same rules. We can't. It's, it's like the Euro, right? Like the Euro's great for Germany and, you know, fucking Switzerland and Denmark and all this shit. It's terrible for Greece and Italy and Spain. This is something that we don't really have a conversation about very much. But I think we better start just being real. Anyway, yo, look, man. This is Tom Pease of Pinoy News, man. I, f I feel for this fucking dude. Legit. Cops aren't infallible. It is what it is. Anyway, I'm out.